Hi guys, today I'm doing a DIY for all you food photographers and also for all of you who love DIYs. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to tune these three different kind of um, baskets and I will recolor them with the colors I have here. So I have white and then yellow and black that I can mix a little bit into the white. So this uh, white basket and this wooden basket I have um, had for some time already and then uh, also I just recently bought this one because after Easter there are a lot of sales and it was on sale but I don't really like the <laughs> bright orange, orange color I like more natural color so I'm going to recolor this so I can start using it and uh, it's a great thing for uh, saving money because this one I got for 1 uh, euro 25 cents was the original price I got it for about uh, 70 cents because it was reduced and so you can get uh, yourself some um, <clears throat> some reduced uh, props that you like so the things that you like apart from the color and then you can just recolor them and they're perfect for use also I will see if I can use some of this ribbon to decorate the baskets and some of this um, lace that I have left over from the Easter egg decorations so let's get started and start recoloring the baskets <laughs> So here we have it. Uh, first of all, you want to cover the surface that you're using with something because, for example, I'm doing this on the table and I don't want my table to be covered in paint. Then get yourself the paint that you want uh, to use to color the uh, surface. So I'm going to use white and then I will see uh, whether I want to add any other color. So first I'm just going to cover the outer side. So I've allowed this one to dry a little bit and uh, now I'm actually going to add the layer, the second layer on top of this before I do um, the inside. So here it is, I've finished one of the handles, it looks pretty nice, I really like how it looks with this uh, ribbon on. And then at the end I also pulled the end of the string through to here and then I'm just gonna cut it and do the other side. So 
So this basket, it was actually a flower pot. So I got a flower from a friend in this pot, uh, on this ba basket. And as you can see, it's not quite white. So there are some marks there from the uh, soil and also here on the other side as well. So it's not uh, very clean and it's not completely white. So what I want to do is I want to just add um, a layer, well I've cleaned it, so I've washed it nicely, but it still has uh, the marks, so it's, uh, it kind of colored uh, the paint. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add another layer of white on top of this one. So on this basket I want to add some of this lace here on the um, edge and also I want to make a bow. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to divide it into two so that will start from the middle there and I have some uh, wood glue here, well <laughs> which is so, um, meant for gluing wooden parts but you could also use um, Super glue, I think. I could have probably kept this one uh, the wooden color that it is but I have an idea that I want to try out so I'm going to color it also white but then I want to sand it a little bit so I want to give uh, it as this different kind of uh, texture so that I'm hoping <laughs> that it will be white at some parts and then you will be able to see the wooden bits um, where I've sanded it. So first again coloring it with white So the basket has dried and I want to um, have some more of that wooden um, color to pick through. So I got some sanding paper here, this is number 80, but you can also use a, a smaller one. And now I'm just going to sand uh, parts of it so that I can get more of that wooden look to this uh, basket. <laughs> 